Hey YouTube, Sokyo here, and as we know, a day on Earth is exactly 24 hours long, or 86,400 seconds. Or is it? Because how do you even measure a day in the first place? Well, a simple idea would be to measure the exact position in the night sky that some faraway stars are, like in a nebula a couple light years away, and then you set a timer and you measure how long it takes for these stars to return to their exact same position in the night sky. And this can actually work in providing what a day is, however, there is a much simpler way to do it, because you don't need to measure the position of these stars far away, because there's a star much nearer to us that we can use as a reference instead. The Sun. But there's a bit of a problem with the Sun. Because we're orbiting around it, and because we're near enough to it, as the Earth orbits around the Sun, this actually causes it to move by about a degree in the sky every single day, which basically means it throws off the measurements by exactly a degree. And so a day measured from these faraway stars, which are so far away that according to parallax, you can't even tell that they've moved at all, as the even though the Earth is moving through space in different ways to them, the distances are so great you can't tell that they've moved. A day according to this is 23 hours 56 minutes. However, according to the sun, it's 24 hours. But even this is only right for technically one day of the year. Because the Earth's orbit around the Sun isn't a straight circle, it's actually elliptical, which means that at some points it's nearer to the Sun and thus orbiting quicker, and at some points it's further away from the Sun and thus orbiting slower. This means that for half of the year, a day isn't 24 hours, it varies between 24 hours and 23 hours, 59 minutes and 30 seconds, and for the other half of the year, it varies between 24 hours and 30 seconds. And so, because of this, no day apart from well, the one day in the middle of the year is actually exactly 24 hours long. Luckily, when you do an average of all of these de lengths of days, you will get 24 hours as the average length of a day relative to the sun. And this is good for us because without it, our calendars wouldn't work as they accept that an Earth day is 24 hours long. And so if someone ever asks you as a trick question how long a day is, remember to specify according to what.